The Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ, stands as an ensign to all nations. We invite everyone everywhere to ponder the message it contains, and then to ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if the book is true. Those who pursue this course and ask in faith will gain a testimony of its truth by the power of the Holy Ghost. grown up saying very rote prayers, you know, my the Lord's Prayer and memorized prayers. And it was something that I did because I was an obedient good girl and not because um, it meant anything to me. So, so at age 16, it was the first time I was ever really praying um, personal prayers and feeling like I could have a personal conversation. And it felt awkward to me at first. And it was something I wanted to make sure was very private because I felt awkward about it. Um, and the more I started to pray and read the Book of Mormon, the more comfortable I got with prayer, and the more I got really terrified of what was going to happen if this was true. I got on my knees and I said, Heavenly Father, if this, if this is true, I need, I need you to tell me so that I have absolutely no doubt because I'm going to give up everything that I am and everything that I have, who I was before. and." how teachers viewed me, how friends viewed me, how family viewed me, would all be changed. I needed him to tell me that this was true. And then I would be willing to give it all up. That would be okay. And so he did. And it was just a, a sense of peace and comfort. And I got up from that and called the missionaries and said, I want to be baptized. When he shall receive, he shall receive. 